sins and put your faith and trust in Jesus, He will cleanse you and give you a new heart and a new direction. Well, I tell you what, I didn't know what happened to me, but my heart changed. It was oh, yeah? like clean, clean. Everything was wiped away. I have to wait so I love the holy and obedient life to Jesus and put my faith and trust just in Him and the Bible and the written word. But I tell you, just in the gospel and His righteousness, not the righteousness. You know, you can't you can't earn your salvation like your good works, like people are trying to earn this. It's what Christ already did on the cross. Put your faith and trust in Him, repent of your sins, turn away, and I'll tell you why. He will cleanse you from your sins, and you will see, you will see, because this happened to me. I didn't know, I didn't know it was happening to me either, but this happened in my room, in my room. Wow my room wow that's pretty cool so i'm out of the catholic church and put me um um and I, I just stay in the bible and the word of god yeah and i put my faith and trust in him and, he, and, I, and i live obedient um obedient life trust him holy yeah. and righteous god I but i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't there i wasn't even a church goer i was catholic and i went to i went to school i went to school i went to um i was um baptized confirmed I went to Catholic school. <laughs> I went to all this. I was still wasn't a Catholic. I mean, I was. So you don't you don't think Catholics are are Christian? I don't understand. They don't. They don't. They believe in kind of Jesus, Jesus alone. Oh, okay. They don't believe in Jesus. They pray to Mary. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, now they do. Jesus shed his blood on the cross. Not Mary. You get where I'm going? Jesus went to the cross. He yeah. Died. He died for your sins. Well, I I I um. I, I, just try, I just try. I just try to do good to heart. people, and no, you know, no, it's that your works. It's his the righteousness. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not concerned about. Um, you know, when I'm, when I'm dead, I'm gone. I just, You're I just try to that's be a, a good person. That's the evil we're trying to talk to you. I'm telling that's you. why I'm. I'm, I'm I mean, you. I am atheist, but that's why I'm, I'm giving you water and. I know, and I know, help you out. I know, and I'm trying to help you out, and that's something I'm trying to <laughs> When you said that, and I said, well, I'm trying to help you out because the Lord put you here for a purpose. This happened for a reason. For you to be here, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and He put you here for a purpose of being an atheist. Because I would never be doing this. I'd be living out in the world. Cause I love to dance. I love to do other things. But now I'm on a mission. I'm, I'm living for God now. So my whole heart has changed. I'm in a whole new direction. I would not be doing this. This would not be me. Let me tell you, sitting here talking to you like this. I'd be like, you know, cause I just lived every day. Yeah. I was nothing. I was nothing. I was a sinner. I didn't even know it was in my sins. See, I don't think we're sinners. I, I mean, I think there are people okay, that do bad life? things. Okay, have you ever lied? No, no, no. Listen, <laughs> I, 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 I know that there are, are people that do bad things mm -hmm. and there are people that do good things, but I, I don't buy into that idea that we're just born that way. I mean, I, I think that that's just natural human behavior. And I mean, because if it if it was just a case of well, I have Jesus now, then I'm a good person. No. Then no. you know, look at like uh, Josh Duggar, who is supposed to be this uber great Christian, and it's coming out that he com he committed pedophilia against his sisters, and now he's supposed to, he you know he he's like was lauded for you know waiting until he kissed his wife to ever kiss a woman for okay. the first time, and now comes to find out he's cheating on her and pain paying money which means that he's taking money from his own family of four kids to pay money to go sleep with other women you know and but but he's sort of put on the pedestal as being a this awesome christian and and i'm not saying that he's a representation of all christianity but i i'm just saying that i'm saying that 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 change that's in your heart i think you always were a good person you know you may say that you weren't but i think that you were and you know, I, I and okay, here we because go. do you think I'm a good person? I just gave you water and yeah. We see the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Because we'll do one thing and then we'll love one minute and then we'll hate somebody the next. See, we we change. We're like the wind, the chief of the wind. One minute we'll say, "Well, if you, your boyfriend hurt you, I hate you." So we, we're not. If you walk in a agape love, you're you're always loving. You're always you're always walking in that light. So we're in dark and light. You know, we we change like the weather. So when it, if we lied, you know, or something like that, we're, we're lying to ourselves. We're lying. We're liars. We're sinners. That's a sin right there, lying. You know? So I, I didn't think of that my own self. Let me tell you that. I was the cheapest sinners, let me tell you. <laughs> no, I tell you, think I was, a, I'm not saying that, to, I'm not saying that to be true. Right. I slept around. I was not a good person. I, but I didn't think that. I thought I was a good person. I thought I was a good person. I did exactly what you were doing. 
you know? Yeah. Until I really looked at it. And then he changed my heart. And then I just put my faith and trust in him. On it took my his righteousness for my righteousness, you know. And then he kept he kept, he keeps you because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit indwells you. So that when, keeps you. When you when he came into your heart, you said you were in a hotel room? I know it's in my room. I was in my bedroom when so, this happened. So what do you do now? Do you like go to church and stuff? Right now, I well, I was in the choir. Okay. I was never in the choir. I didn't even know I could sing. <laughs> I thought that I had a voice. I thought that I had a voice. Oh, that's cool. And I uh, see, see, the, 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 the gifts were coming out. Gifts. The spirit. I didn't know I had any gift thing. Because that's the evil one trying to deceive It sounds you. like somebody... You, I mean, it, it sounds really sad. It sounds like someone... Maybe you just got really put down in your life. and. No. No, no. I, I did, what happened was I had a heart-shaped hole in my in my in my heart. Yeah. Uh, a, a hole in my heart, and then Jesus came to fill that hole. That's what it was. Not knowing that. Yeah. I not knowing that. But you know what? Now I live for the Lord. I'm happy. I could sing. I'm like, no matter what happens to me. <laughs> you know. Thank you, Lord. It's a learning lesson. Yeah. It's he's, 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 to be Christ-like. To be like Joe in the Bible, like he he loved, he healed the sick, he felt the multitudes, he, he did all these things. What well, you know, the there's a scripture in the Bible that also says that uh, if you are a bastard, then you're cursed for ten generations, and from entering into the kingdom. And uh, oh, no, let me tell my you, my father something. was a bastard, so no, I'm out. No, that's my, not true. My son's a bastard, that's so he's not out. No. Nope. That's what the Bible says. No, no, that's not true. Because you didn't look in the New Testament. That was the Old Testament. The New Testament is, the New Testament is repent. Repent means have a change of mind. Means knowing that you, you sinned against all uh, holy God. You're separated from God for your sins. If you repent, have a change of mind about but your sins. But doesn't that have it? you from all your sins. Doesn't Everything. it give you an endless cycle? Like again, I hate no. to go back to Josh Duggar, but no. here's a guy that keeps on sinning and then he says, forgive me. And you know, the Bible does say that when someone asks for forgiveness, you're supposed to forgive them over and over again. Yes. Like 77 times. So, so. Oh, you know the Bible. What? Do you oh, know the 77? Yeah. Wow. Well, what's the loophole? I actually read the Bible more now as an atheist than I did before. You know, the, the loophole is the, um, you have a, um, between God and man, okay, the only one intercessor between God and man is Jesus Christ. Okay, so if you do sin, He's faithful and just to cleanse you from your sins if you if you're sincere in your heart. But I don't see about how I, sinning. I sin. I mean, I'm I'm married. I've been married to the same person for 14 years. I love him to death. I got my kids, two boys, and you know I'm a mom. I'm a fitness instructor. I have amazing friends. I, I have wonderful family. People that really love me, and you know. I I believe you. I be, I truly believe what you're saying. But that's the only thing the attack of the enemy. He wants everything to look good around you. Okay? He wants to make everything look good. So you don't have to believe. He's trying to wipe, shield your eyes from the blinding eyes from the truth. I know this because he blinded my eyes. So the Lord put you here. This poop is on here for the reason. Yeah, <laughs> poop. The verb just on your car to talk to me. <laughs> seriously. Seriously, because I would have never met you to ask you for that. This, and that guy, there was a, the Lord works in mysterious ways, I'm telling you. There was a purpose and a reason for you here. Because today may be the day of your salvation. And he brought you here. And I know this. I know this in my heart now. Well, I can't change your heart. No, no, it's, it's not you. that. If, I love and you. No, 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 I, listen. I love you. I love you. Listen. There's nothing I can do about it. Even if, 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 even if I were to return to the church, which I don't want to but you don't even, even but no let me finish. is that about church no well, let me finish okay. even if i even if i were to the the bible in the new testament is pretty clear mm -hmm. that uh, blasphemy is an unforgivable sin no 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 uh, yeah you know what the most the only unforgivable sin is blasphemy against the holy spirit yeah yeah the holy spirit oh i've blasphemed the holy spirit you have oh yeah okay well you know what you don't know if God will forgive you. I don't know. I can't answer that. Well, How do you know if, that? If, if that's the case, and if you, God's going to set out these rules, and then at the end of the day, he's going to say, Ah, you know what, Heather? You're really cool. Just forget everything I wrote I down in that book. I don't think you the Holy Spirit, because you wouldn't have had the Holy Spirit if you were an atheist. So you couldn't have blasphemed the Holy Spirit. So I got that just now. 
You could have not blasted me the whole Watch Spirit. Watch out, there's a car Because until you're saved, until you're saved, that's when the Holy Spirit seals you. So whoever that, that evil one is trying to tell you that, okay, right now, I got the message. I got the message. You are never saved to Well, how do I handle the whole bastard thing? Because I'm in, I'm no, a second generation it bastard. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God, I'm telling you, the only thing is blasting me against the Holy Spirit, but you are not sealed with the Holy Spirit. Because if you're an atheist, you're not sealed with the Holy Spirit. So whatever you think you did, you haven't done it yet. You get what I'm going? Yeah. Okay. It's when you're saved, then the Holy Spirit says, you, and you wouldn't be even thinking about that. Because you'd be, living in a whole, you'd be uh, free from your sins, you still have a clear heart, and you'd be living in a whole new direction. And your children, then you will have your children, and they'll be saved. Because uh, there is a heaven and a hell. And we, wow. I know this. I know this. And then the other thing is, um, in the in the You're New so Testament. Good. I mean, no, <laughs> well, I, I want to you know, I I want to help you understand because I don't understand uh, either. In the in the New Testament, they talk about, um, you know, thought crimes. Like you can get in trouble for lustful thoughts and and mm -hmm. and sinful thinking and. So how can you control a thought? Like if That's you say, say, if you see a guy, let's say that guy who just got out of his car. What if like, just as I'm looking at you and I think, not that I did, but what if I thought, oh, he's kind of cute. Hmm. <laughs> you know, like, that's a thought that that just pops in my head that I can't control. And according but to- But you will be able to. Once the, the New Spirit Testament. You. Once you I'm know, doomed. No, you're not. Well, I can't what control I just, what I think. You're, oh, that's what I'm saying. The whole, when the Holy Spirit comes in you, when you repent, and have a change of mind and put your faith and trust in Jesus on his righteousness, the blood that he sacrificed for your sins. Based on the gospel, Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures and buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. He will cleanse you and put your faith and trust in him. Then the Holy Spirit will seal you and then you won't be thinking these thoughts, you see? And yeah. if you did think them and you were working progress, all you have to do is repent and he'll keep you. Say, keep me. Keep well, me. and then there's one more problem with the whole Jesus story. Mm -hmm. And that is, the Gospels were written 30 to 40 years after he supposedly was crucified. And there, there isn't any um, mention of him in the first century. So I know a lot of people want to believe he existed, and I'm not saying that a guy named Jesus didn't exist. But he I saved think, me in my room. I mean, it's like... I got pulled. I actually got pulled in my room. I'm telling you, I got pulled across the room to the toilets of TV. When the preacher was saying repent, I had to. I lifted up my hands, but I got pulled. Well, if I so get snatched across the room one day, no. then maybe I'll be like, yeah, okay. It, what I'm telling you is. But why? Why do you get that that I'm a heart moment? Different. But why do you get that moment? And here I am. I if I say, it. hey, I was, you know what? Show yourself. I was seeking it with my. If I say heart. show yourself, mm -hmm. and he doesn't, then how come you get that moment and I don't? Say, reveal yourself to me. Ask him. How, how, how do you know I haven't? How do you know I've never said, okay, God, okay, Jesus, okay, come on, seek it. What he, prove it. He said, seek it with your whole heart. Seek it with your whole heart in your room. Close the door. Say, reveal yourself to me. I want to know who you are. I want to know if this is real. I want to know if this is true. You say those things. He will wait. He will. He will answer you. Well, and and even if something does happen, how do you know? It's Christ. I mean, if it's a supernatural thing, they don't exactly have a government ID. It is they don't, they don't drop down like, here's my social security number. Here's no, my I'm driver's living, license. I'm living like Christ lives. I'm lived. Jesus, honey. No, <laughs> I'm, living, I'm living like Christ lives. And I would not be living like Christ. And the Bible? Uh -huh. I didn't even know that the Bible. Okay? I was confused. I was concentrating on, I lost this person. And I wouldn't even concentrate on the Bible. Now I know the word Bible because the Holy Spirit put it in my heart. But I didn't know the Bible. I, some people say, how do you know that verse? I don't know the Holy Spirit put it in my heart too. I'm knowing the Bible. Do you read it? Mm -hmm. Now I read it, yeah. Now I read it. But I was nowhere near. No, I had nothing. There's a lot of crazy stuff in there. There's a lot of things that are in there. I yeah. mean, a lot of crazy stuff that's in the Bible. There's like, a lot of things. That, well, like uh, God, um, uh, uh, what was his name? The prophet Elijah. Some kids called him ball headed and so he prayed, oh, prayed to have him cursed. You know, and, then, yeah. and 42 bears, uh, two bears came out and mauled 42 yes, kids. Yes, you're and right. then he went on his way. You're right. You know, because he said a prayer to, that's like, because he got, my, my husband's ball headed. My kids call their father ball headed all the time. And I laugh at them. I go, some bears are going to get you. Yeah. Keep calling daddy ball headed. You're going to get some bears on you. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's just vicious to me. And, and um, the, the story of Job, I think, is the worst story of all because. 
here's a guy that was is faithful and and if Did you if you read it tested him yes. no 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 satan didn't test him well god if you, no 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 wait okay. if you read the story mm -hmm. god god is the one who mentions Joe. yes one right. and then god gives satan ramifications he says you can do whatever you want don't kill him and so so satan follows the instructions of god and in that instruction satan's allowed to crush job's 10 children with a building and nowhere in the Bible does it say that, that Job's ten children, because you can argue about all the other deaths in the Bible and say, well, they were wicked, they were this, they were that. But Job's ten kids, nowhere in the Bible does it say that Job's ten children were wicked or bad or doing bad things. They just got caught up in this sick, twisted game between God and Satan. And I read that and, and I'm sorry. But I don't want to pray to a God that would hurt children, no matter when the time frame was. Because, you know, and then people will tell me, well, it's okay because Job got 10 kids back. Well, I'm a mom. I got two kids. And there's nothing that could replace my two children, you know? So you can't sit there and say, well, it's okay because he got 10 better looking kids. That's disgusting. I mean, if someone really thinks that that is an okay consolation prize, well, you get 10 more kids. And remember... Job's wife had to give birth 10 more times in the dirty desert. So she had to give birth 20 times, right? With, you know, we're not talking with, with sterilized hospitals and, and, you know, um, and all that wonderful stuff that we have, modernized medicine. We're talking in a tent, legs cocked diesel, ugh, pain, no drug, no nothing. 10 more times, right? She had to give birth 10 more times, all because God and Satan wanted to have some sort of sick twisted pissing contest these are two most powerful beings in the universe and they, they they decided let's play with this mortal let's play with his life let's kill his kids let's do all this just to see if he'll still praise me in the end and i mean is god really that like needy like that's really sick that you're so needy that you would allow satan to kill crush 10 children with a building. I mean, think about 9-11. I, I worked at the Pentagon during 9-11. Okay. And I would come to work um, watching them with cadna cadaver-sniffing dogs okay. in the rubble yeah. looking for bodies. Yes. And I had people that I work with die in that crushed building. And when I read that story in Job, and every time I read it, I get angry because I think that that is disgusting. That a, a, and, and whether it ever happened, whether it ever happened, whether it's just a fable, it doesn't matter. Some Somebody decided this was an important enough story to put in. And the way it was told to me as a child was, look how obedient Job is. Job is so obedient. And Christians always gloss over this horrible thing that happened to Job's kids. And and I look at that and I can't, I can't go, oh, well, at least he was obedient. That's the most important thing. No. No, no, no. If you believe that God blesses you with kids, then you are to be a steward to your children. And my job as a mom is to protect my kids no matter what. And I, I, I can't abide by a God that would want to sacrifice 10 children with a, on a crushed building just because he wants to prove something to Satan. What does he care about Satan? If he's really the most powerful no, he creature if he but why why you, you, would he you, set you, satan on that path to he, kill those 10 kids he, answer me that he wanted to, to test him he wanted to do it for himself he wanted to get to see where his his heart was at why he's would testing it, the hearts of people but that's if they're, sick if they're they're, they're for that god is disgusting. They're i don't want god. i don't ever want to be tested in that way i don't ever Ever, but ever no, want someone to put my kids on the line to test me? He was that's a, disgusting. Okay, that you, that was the Old Testament, and it wasn't sealed with the Holy Spirit. But the that's Old Testament, Testament still Testament. has to matter. No, the Old Testament still has I to matter. I took this because I'm, I'm if, saying that. If, because you would have to throw out the creation story. That's you would right. Have to throw out the Ten no, Commandments. No, no. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And if it's in the book, the, the Bible clearly says God says my word is unchanging. So even if Jesus came back and there was this Old te New Testament, blah 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 blah, and actually in Deuteronomy. It's it says, do not add or take away from this book. Subtract, so right. really, yes, and the Bible is supposed too. to stop in Deuteronomy. Yeah, then they stuck it in Revelations it's again. In but it's supposed to stop in Deuteronomy. So there's not even supposed to be a New Testament. It's just supposed to be all that crazy stuff all the way up to Deuteronomy. I'm just saying that, you know, you. I mean, I I appreciate your passion. Okay, let me, and I think let me, it's let me beautiful. tell you about Job. Job at the end, what did God do? 
Yeah, he blessed him and gave him all that stuff. Back. Everything back. But his no, 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 everything. No, no, his family didn't get replaced. He didn't bring them back from no, the dead. No, no, he didn't bring them back. He just gave him ten more kids. He gave him. But gave my him question abundance. is, as a mom, are you a mom? No, I'm not a mom. Okay, I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. And if if something were ever to happen to my children, I, I, they're not like puppies. You can't just replace kids and be like, he. These were like some of the kids were older, some of them were younger. These were his ten kids. And to just say, well, he got he got ten more kids. If 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 we are that replaceable as humans, then what's the point? You know, and and, and again, that's just one area of objection that, that I, I look I, at and I, I read the I'm read the Bible. And I'll tell you, I became an atheist from reading the Bible. Well, and I know that probably freaks you out. Well. But it's the truth. I put my faith and trust in him and I know that he has a Who's purpose. Oh, and I know I'll have a purpose, and, and we'll, we'll know that purpose at the end. The reason. The reason, but you don't know the reason of the whole thing. Yeah. It's not going to come together. Nobody knows. There's mysteries. But when it comes together, it's going to be beautiful. And we're not, we don't see it. We see all the horrific things. But we also see him walking all with everybody. And there's a reason why these deaths happen. But doesn't mean that they're not saved or not. They're not in heaven. They're not. Well, they're not. They're not heaven. They're in a holding place. Um, the righteous with the just, right now. And then, then it, the concept of heaven doesn't really come into play until the New Testament. So Job's kids yes. just got crushed. Um, no, because Abraham's bosom with the Lazarus, when the Gulf, the the uh, put a uh, tongue uh, uh, water on my tongue. Okay, so that was in the Old Testament, and that was a great gulf because there was a separation right there. Okay, so yes, they're in a holding place, a good place, until the the um, um, the heavens, you know. Yeah, they had to get to that good place by having a building crushed on them, and you know, when uh, we see things like that, um, when when people have buildings crushed on them, a lot of people don't die right away. So, for all we know, his children set trapped under that building some of them probably didn't die right away they died a slow agonizing brutal painful death we you know in my in my church um and speaking of church you um if to be saved i don't i don't believe you have to be it says don't forsake the assembly i it says that um but me um right now i'm not in church but i'm saved jesus saved me yeah. right now i stay in the bible yeah put my faith and trust in jesus I go about preaching because that's well that's what I am because said Jesus saved me I will not be doing this but the thing is I put my faith in and in, and we have horrific stories in the church people who lost their, their children same thing but they have that trust that faith that everything's yeah. gonna work out I think that's and it's a, a beautiful faith. thing it's a faith it's if you walk by faith and not by sight if you really trust and believe because that's the thing that's gonna keep you is that faith yeah. And I'm telling you, that's what's keeping me. I didn't have faith. <laughs> I had no faith. But now I have such faith. Yeah. I, know? I think I think it's wonderful. And, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't knock or anybody else, you know. It's, and I'm not, you know, that's, that's just where I am. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I respect that you, you have that faith. And I think that's wonderful. My yeah. mom has it. My grandmother what had it. What is your name? My name is Heather. Heather, can I just pray for you a second? Would you mind? I kind of got to get going. It will take a few minutes. Oh, no, no, I, I really do have okay. to get going. But um, it was, what was your name again? It's, it's Rose. But I, I just nice wanted to, to pray to you that the Lord would touch you and, and show you, reveal himself to you. That's all I want to no, pray. No, no, it's fine. Because if you I, want to honestly, know the truth, I'm, you want to know the truth. That, that, oh, the sun says free is free indeed. And that's why the only one you're going to say free because I'm the truth, the way in life. No one goes to the Father but me. There's only one way and one road. And there's not many roads. And I'm telling you, I would not be here. I'm telling you, that poop is on there for a reason. <laughs> We are having this conversation. The Pope, the Pope. The Pope. And I didn't even have to talk to you about these things. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit is talking to me to show you these things. Yeah. So it's a faith that, that keeps you. Yeah. It's a faith. Faith in it was it believe in faith in a, a substance thing, a substance of things not hoped for. Evidence evidence of things not not yet seen. Yeah. So it's that supernatural, you know, and knowing that this is not all we have. This is not all we have. I'm telling you, this is not it. And everybody tells you that's a liar. I would. I used to believe Catholic Church thought everybody went to heaven right away. They didn't know what you did. 
Don't go there! <laughs> I lost my mom, dad, and my sister, and I don't even know they're saved. Hmm. Oh, that's not I me. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if they're saved. Yeah. I don't know if they're saved. And well, they're gone. That's sad. I didn't have a chance to witness them. After they passed, then I got. And when that's sad, because I bet they were good people and they should deserve to go. Nobody's good. And the Bible says there's no one good, just God. Because what hard is it to see people? Okay, okay. Okay, you understand? Because one minute you love, the next minute you hate. One minute someone does something wrong, you're irritated, you're angry. So you're not, if you're not walking the love, walk. The, the two greatest man is love thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. Love thy neighbor as thyself. I got me love. I got me love. I love you and I don't even know you. I'm awesome. Everybody loves me. <laughs> I love anyway, I, I got to get going. But uh, it was nice to meet you. And it was very nice to meet you. I hope you get the poop you. off your car. I pray that everything, you know, that the Lord will touch you and reveal himself to you, okay? I oh. pray that, I pray the best for you, family. Blessings over you, okay? Yeah, that's really sweet. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you so much for this. Oh, honey, I don't need water. You sure? Oh, yeah, I got this. You okay. might need some water for your kids. You don't oh. even know when you need that. My kids, have, we have tons of water. <laughs> All right, have a good one. You have a good one. Woo-wee. I hope I got all of that. I really hope I did. Oh my goodness. Please tell me you were recording that. Yes, 26 minutes. Holy